Also tonight, we begin a month-long series of team investigative reports aimed at major problems facing New Mexico's natural resources and our environment. From drought to pollution, we're on it. And tonight, for investigator Chris Ramirez looks at two parts of New Mexico dealing with poisoned water. And the situation is so bad, it's now the subject of a lawsuit. I raised my family here. We've been farming here for that long. Art Scapp is a dairy farmer in Clovis with nearly 2,000 cows. 2,000 cows producing milk with a poison. The water under Art's dairy has been poisoned, and for years, he, his family, and his cows had been drinking it. Well, what were the, some of the first red flags for you that there could be a problem? Well, we didn't really know if there was a problem, but we were, in, we were having issues with milk production. Uh, and we just assumed that it was our management. We just assumed that it was feed quality. But I, I've been running a dairy 35 years on my own, and uh, we were doing everything right. To understand how that poison got in the water, we have to take you back to the late 1960s. The United States Air Force used a foam with polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS for short, to put out jet fuel fires or to train on putting out aircraft fires. The PFAS molecules bond in such a way that repels water, grease, oils, and fuels. Cannon Air Force Base near Clovis has long had missions involving aircraft, and for decades, airmen used the PFAS foam. Pretend for a moment that what's in this aquarium is like a swath of the Earth's ground. And this red dyed water is the PFAS foam. As we pour the water over the sod, you see how the material sinks below the surface and gets underneath. That would be the groundwater. Well, this happened at Cannon Air Force Base and Clovis, New Mexico with the PFAS for more than 30 years. James Kenney is the cabinet secretary for the New Mexico Environment Department. If you ingest it, if you uh, are drinking water that's contaminated by PFAS, what are the health or safety risks that, that, that are posed? A number of the health effects have been documented. Health effects like it stays in your blood for a long period of time. It, it does not metabolize out. So one, it's in you. It, once it's in you, it's in you for a while. So there's a range of issues that it can cause. Low infant birth weights, just a number of a number of impacts. Cancer included. Yeah, cancer included, testicular cancer and another uh, other types of cancers as well. This map shows the Cannon Air Force Base flight line. This is where Art Scapp's dairy is, and this is the known PFAS plume contamination. When they said that my water was positive with PFAS and that I had a, they had to put me on bottled water, that hit me like a like a tornado. And then all of a sudden I thought all that struggling on milk production and other things that we were struggling with on the dairy, and I thought that's got to be a big issue. Two months later, Art tested his cattle and learned both the meat and the milk tested positive for PFAS. When your value of your land's worth zero, your cows are worth zero, you have nothing to sell, what do you have? You have nothing. Every single day since October, Art has been milking his cattle and dumping 15,000 gallons of milk down the drain. That's devastating. I mean, you're a dairy farmer and you can't produce milk. No, uh, we can't sell the milk, we can't sell the cows. Uh, I've been quarantined. Uh, we have animals that are getting as of old age who are dying here. And uh, basically we have no income. Do you worry that the milk you had been selling before you knew was consumed by people? Yeah, that's why when I found out that I had PFOS in the water, that's why I went to the Ag Department of New Mexico and asked them to check my milk. Yeah. Because I, I know that milk goes to those places, and so that was my biggest concern. One of the 12 centers of the Air Research and Development Command, Holloman is located in the Tularosa Basin in southern New Mexico. There is also a PFAS contamination around Holloman Air Force Base near Alamogordo. Holloman Lake sits just south of the runway. You can see right now the water in Lake Holloman is evaporated. However, when there was water in here, state officials came and they tested it and found that the PFAS levels in the water were off the charts and warned the public here that getting in the water or drinking the water would be absolutely detrimental to their health. 
These photos taken by the State Environment Department show the PFAS foam gurgled up from the water and washed up on the lake shoreline. We began receiving complaints that there was abnormal effects in the community uh, in that part of the state of New Mexico. Attorney General Hector Balderas and Secretary Kenny sued the Air Force demanding the federal government immediately clean up the contamination. There needs to be a full cleanup and there needs to be compensation to the people that have been harmed. Do you feel like you are making headway to get the Air Force to clean this up and, re and remediate this problem? If we were making progress, we wouldn't be involved in a lawsuit. So I think that speaks volumes for how we're having to bring the Air Force to the table. A Holloman Air Force Base spokesperson sent an email stating, base leaders have met with community stakeholders and nearby neighbors, and the drinking water near Holloman is not contaminated, just the surface water. A spokesperson from Cannon referred us to another spokesperson in San Antonio who never responded to our questions. Despite Art's enormous losses, he has faith the Air Force will do what's right. Because the future water supply at Clovis depends on this cleaning. Chris Ramidas for Investigates.